Hi guys. So I am trying, gonna try to film for you a little um, <clears throat> this demonstration for the GHD, and this is the new one in the periwinkle. And I'm I'm squinting you guys because I don't have my um, glasses on. Okay, so this one just says professional style with ceramic technology right there and right now it's very hot so I'm not going to try to even touch there because this thing actually gets hot in under 20, 20 seconds or less. So right here you can see the indicator light flashing. This is your on and off switch and yeah let's spray some heat protectant thingy on my hair over this side Okay. Wow. Did you see that, guys? It actually. Huh. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a curl thing, Jake. Ooh. There, look. I got me a little curl. Huh, interesting. This one, yeah, it gets it in one pass. Okay, let's see if I go close, sir, to my scalp. I don't want to burn myself because, you know. Whoa, sir. It's a little piece that I cut off. Look at that, guys. Can you see the sheen on that? And all I have in my hair is the Beyond the Zone. See my natural curls are down to my roots. I'm smelling candle and that's just such an awesome smell. Alright, this one does have, it's smoking, but it's not smoke from like, you know, my your hair is burning kind of smoke. It's actually, and I did make a little turn on the end again. It's actually from that thing that I have sprayed but you guys can see it actually does and I want to get like my curly I want to get my curly thingies right here like really let's see what you can do with those whoa ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that they're straight oh my gosh they're straight Okay, I don't want to be a dweeb, but oh. <laughs> I get excited over good flat irons. I honestly do, because if not, my hair just eats it up and go, hello. Do you think you have another one of those ready for me? <laughs> so yeah, I love a good flat iron for when I need to do this because I don't go to the salon ever to do my hair 
Hence, the appreciation of a good tool. This sucker is just on point. And, oh, what I was going to tell you guys. So, it pretty much does it in one pass and smooths it out on the next pass. So, if I were to get my... Let's get this thing out, shall we? And I have the Coriolis, whatever doohickey this is. So let's see what that does with this. Okay? Alrighty then. So let's do this. I'm just going to place flat iron behind here. And we're just going to do a one over like so. And of course, you're still seeing like steam coming. But I assure y'all, well, look at that. Hi guys, this is Colette, so I am back again, and um, I have just finished the curling of my hair, so it looks decent for tomorrow, and initially I wasn't going to curl it, I was just going <laughs> to, I'm sorry, I was just going to um, just straighten it and be done, but I decided let's see how it does with curling so I, I kicked in a few curls and once I had like three in or four I was like okay let's just do the whole thing so let me turn around so you can see what it looks like so 
So there it is in the back. Um, I hope you can see it. And let's turn around now. So, let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, so there is the hair and it is shiny. It is noticeably shiny. Um, I normally don't have a big problem with shine, excuse me, but I could say, so I won't attribute the sheen to the iron, even though they do say it adds sheen to the hair. I don't know. So here's what it is. I did a few things and I'm just going to do a little quick overview on this one and then I'll do a more in-depth and comprehensive detailed review on both and then tell you the pros and cons and what I like about each of them. But for now I will say with the classic I I'm liking the fact that I could pick up a good chunk of my hair. I'm not confined to a, a smaller section as it were. So it took me um, about a half an hour and that includes filming time when I started earlier, um, preparation time and just kind of doing random stuff like getting up and getting stuff in the bathroom. And one of the things I did get up and get was my shea butter. It's just the, the plain white shea butter. I have it in this container because it came in something else and I just kind of scooped it into that. Reason for me adding the shea butter is I noticed that when I did the first part, it, it just didn't feel smooth to me. It didn't feel smooth and I prefer having that smoothness and stuff. So I find that when I do my hair, after I shampoo and it's dried, I usually add a little of this and then add this. Now, yeah, so it does give you a nice, you know, the ends are smooth. And I like that and I think that's pretty much that now I was saying with the time it took me I think it took me a little more time than I would have taken due to how the iron performs like I said I got up and I got this and stopped you know to apply that to the hair um, what else did I do I didn't use this I just went just fl flat iron to hair that's it um, what else did I do yes I couldn't decide what I wanted with the front I couldn't decide do I want it to frame my face this way or did I want to go back that way like I did a few weeks ago so I curled it this way and then I went that way and then I said no um, I kind of want it this way so then I had to <laughs> recurl it this way that like, you know straighten it this way and then bump it a little bit because it's too long to do the bang thingy that I had going on and framing the forehead and I am not gonna cut it I'm just gonna let it go back to what it was before I initially chopped the bangs and did the little thing that I have going on so I'm just gonna let it be and regrow that part of it so yeah, so all of this curling on curling and curling again took a little extra time. So I would have been done already. So needless to say, I do like how the iron performs and I will do my review. Now that I've used it on my hair, I need to use it on Minimi and then I will actually give you my in-depth review. So this is just a first impression on how it performed on just my hair and um yeah so if you guys want to stay tuned i guess that on the weekend or next week i will do her hair with this one and um let you guys know so thank you for watching and um
Just remember, you are champagne and don't you let anyone treat you like beer. Bye guys.